Howdy, this is Tommy with Alderman Farms. All right, so two Sundays ago, uh, today's Sunday, two Sundays ago, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before, we cracked open the hive and to my horror, I found that they had zero resources. There was no capped honey. There appeared to be no nectar in any cells. Um, again, probably due to my messing up at the beginning of a dearth putting extra frames in. Um, <laughs> welcome to beginning beekeeping, right? So anyway, a, a bunch of very kind mentors helped me figure out that I needed to give them some resources. So if you'll recall, we put a two gallon, I, ma I made a feeder, a two gallon feeder uh, based on a video by Barnyard Bees. I was referred to that video by my local friend, Jeffrey Killam. And so I fixed them up a two gallon solution of 1.5 to one ratio sugar syrup. Um, and so last Sunday, this past Sunday, um, I checked and things were looking better on the resource front. They had uh, nectar in every frame, lots of nectar in every frame, nothing capped yet, uh, but you can hear from the buzzing in the hive that they're busy uh, dehydrating the nectar, uh, removing moisture com content, getting it ready to cap. Uh, however, if you watched last week's video, you'll notice that the brood was very, very spotty. Now, according to my mentors, that's to be expected because since they had no resources, the queen slowed down her laying. Um, and I think Probably, if I remember correctly, she slows down this time of year anyway. Today is September the 13th. Uh, but I was also told by my mentors that once the resource problem got resolved, she might pick up again. So today, we're going to look in. I keep telling you, I want to stop going in here and bothering them. But I think it's important to check progress. So I'm going to do that this week at least. Maybe next week. I don't know. We'll decide once I get in there because I haven't been in there yet today. So two things I'm looking for today. I'm curious to see if I notice any capped honey. I'm checking resources, uh, cap cells where, where honey is. Uh, I may not, because I don't know how long it takes them. I, I'm imagining that it, it, it varies depending on relative humidity where you live, time of year, temperature, all of that. So I don't know what a rule of thumb is for how long it takes them once a nectar cell is full, how long it takes them to cap it for it to become honey and get capped. So I don't know that, but I'm looking for that. I'm looking for resources. I'm looking for nectar. I've, been, I've watched the hive entrance a little while every day and I'm seeing tons of nectar coming in. Uh, excuse me, tons of pollen, pollen, pollen. I'm seeing tons of pollen coming in. So I'm gonna look for pollen cells. Uh, and, then, and then the second thing I'm gonna look for is uh, the brood. Uh, I didn't notice any eggs last time, but the lighting wasn't great. But I did see my queen. I noticed the queen. She's not marked. I need to order some marking pins so I can start doing that. Uh, but I did see her. I did last week see larva in varying stages of development, including some cat brood. Uh, so I'm looking today to see brood pattern uh, and see how that goes. So two things, checking their resources and checking their brood. Let's go see what we find out. Oh, one more thing. Probably going to replenish their syrup. <laughs> Ready? Let's go look. There's a little bit of syrup left in the feeder, so, uh, but I'm still gonna top it off with the rest of what I made in that first batch. And then I'll probably go ahead and make up another batch just to have it ready because I would rather not have to feed my bees, but as my buddy Jeff told me uh, the other day very wisely, uh, you'd rather have fed bees than dead bees. He didn't say it like that, I just made that up. I like that. I'd rather have fed bees than dead bees. No, but what he told me was, he said, look, you can raise grass-fed cattle, um, but you wouldn't let them starve to death. And so if their resources are, are skinny, then uh, there's nothing wrong with feeding them. And so that's what I'm doing with these bees. All right, let me get suited up and we'll take a look at the frames. Well, I can tell you right now, 
it is a good bit more propolis 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 on this divider board than there than I've noticed all year oh man such a good sign I'm seeing on the very last frame what I call what I'm calling the last frame lots of comb development boy there's a whole bunch of uh, hive beetles lots of propolis on there I'll tell you this one reason I'm uh, I don't like going in here as often as I have been which I realize I, I think you know my mentors are telling me no you need to get in there and check well, one of the reasons I hate coming in here this often, aside from just disturbing the bees, is the bees seem to be a good job, be doing a good job of imprisoning the small hive beetles. And every time I take out the divider board, I'm setting them free. Um, of course, they'll, you know, they'll corral them back up, I guess. I have got capped honey, boys and girls, on this frame right here. Let me get it out and I'll show you. Bees are very calm today, so far. Oh, it's gonna break up the calmness. Let's give them a little smoke. Feeling pretty heavy, so I'm thinking the other side's gonna look really good. Look at there, capped honey. Capped honey, it's full of nectar all the way down to here. You may not can tell on the video, but they are building out this comb all the way down to here. So I'm assuming as the resources remain available, uh, they will continue to pack in the nectar and uh, continue to create more honey now like I said this is a heavy frame so let me see what I see on the other side ah boy look how pretty that is not that look how pretty that is look at that beautiful white cat honey and one week ago that wasn't there one week ago there was nectar all the way down right now there's nectar down to here and they're building out this comb farther down here. So that's very encouraging. I'm very encouraged. Very encouraged. At least about the resources. Let's keep going. More cat honey on the next frame. See if I can not jostle them as badly as I did on that last one. All right, Let's see what we got here. Very heavy frame. So we've got cat honey at the top. Looks like all of this previously used brood area is all covered with nectar. There's nectar all the way down to here. They're drawing out the frame all the way down to here. There's no brood on this one, that's all nectar. Pretty much a uh, mirror image on this side. We got capped honey up here, nectar all throughout here, nectar all the way down to here. They're drawing out comb further down the frame. There are some empty cells. Okay, I carried this frame out into the sun where I could see better. 
And I said nectar's all the way down here. That's not true. There's spotty nectar in here. There's also empty cells. You know what I see when I bring it out in the sunlight? You know what's in those empty cells? They're not empty. There's eggs in there. So there are eggs in those cells. That's very exciting. Very exciting. See some cat brood on this next cell. I mean next frame, so that's good. My goal is if I see, you know, if it looks like she's picking back up, if I see her again one week later, I've already seen eggs, so that's good. I've seen eggs, so that's good. If I can get a good look at her, if I find some more, uh, some larva in various stages of development, maybe some more eggs, then I probably will stop looking in here. And everybody said, yeah, Tommy, we don't believe that. Ah, now look at there. Honey at the top. And look at that brood pattern. Now there's, there's nectar in between those brood cells. But you tell me, that's a little better brood pattern, wouldn't you think? It's a little tighter. Not as spotty. I see some developing larva that probably will soon to be capped. I see some little tiny baby larva. Let me walk out in the sun and see if I can see some eggs. Walked out in the sun and yes indeed I see eggs in there. So I've got eggs, larva in various stages, including cap brood. Let's see what I got over here on the other side. Same thing. Honey all at the top. Bigger brew pad, lot, lots more capped brood than we had last week. You remember? I see uncapped larva. I see some little tiny, tiny larva. So I feel certain that there's also eggs on this frame as well. Let me spend a moment glancing to see if I see Her Majesty. I'm not going to look too long because I've seen eggs. So I know she's been there within the last three days. And I don't want to be in here very long. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. All right. Now this frame was full of bees just a moment ago until I smoked them off of there. And they they headed for lower ground.
Cap tiny at the top. Nice little brew pattern. Looks like the same on the other side. Let me look a little closer. All right, I got cap brewed. I've got larva just about to be capped. Again, larva at varying stages of development, including little tiny baby larva with nectar scattered about the brew pattern. Now that probably, if I'm guessing, help me out out there, bee experts, I'm guessing that that happened because you know, they were so low on resources that when they got access to some resources, they were just packing it away everywhere that they can. Same on this side. Honey at the top, above the brew pattern. That's a pretty, that's a pretty tight brew pattern. Same scenario. I've got... Uh, Larva at varying stages of development. That's good. That's good, 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 good. Cooperating a little better with me, not getting squished. Two more. Give a little smoke. Seems like the population has increased. I don't know if it's that if it's possible that quick. I guess it is. There's more bees in here, it seemed like. Certainly than there were two weeks ago. All right, very familiar pattern. Honey at the top, brood just beneath it. Oh, I haven't mentioned seeing pollen, but I don't think I have, but I am. I'm seeing pollen. If I haven't mentioned it, make sure I'm not squishing. Can you see the pollen in the low, in the darker, in a, in a swath of those darker lower cells? More, more pollen here too. Now these are the frames that are close in front of the uh, front of the entrance. So they've got honey at the top, but it's interesting. They, not as many of those cells are capped. There are some that are capped. But I can see that the nectar in those cells is looking more golden, it's looking more honey-like, the ones that are uncapped. So uh, that, to me, I'm expecting, you know, if I were to come out here again next week, which I'm, right now I don't think I am. Right now I don't think, I, I don't think there's a need for that. Because I'm seeing brood, and I'm seeing honey, and I'm seeing pollen.
first frame, whoo, that's heavy. When you get the top, this appears to be completely nectar and honey. Honey at the top and uncapped nectar on that side. Let's see about the side that goes against the wall. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Nice honey field there. And they've got nectar on this frame all the way down to here. So they have got some groceries. They've got some groceries. Let's slide them all back together. Put them back in place. And the walls are covered with bees. There's a good bit of bees in here. Well, I'm a beginner, so I may not know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to call that a good day. <laughs> Why? Because as I mentioned at the beginning, I was going in there looking for two things. I was looking for resources, uh, particularly curious to see if there's any capped honey. And I think I saw capped honey. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, uh, much less what happened five minutes ago. I'm pretty sure, help me, didn't we? Did we see capped honey on every single frame? Not only on every frame, but on every side of every frame? I think so. Um, I saw plenty of uncapped nectar. I saw pollen. Um, I probably should have known this, but it seems like the pollen is stored nearer the entrance of the hive. Um, we saw we saw brood. Um, I saw a couple of frames that had what I consider to be, or what I think. Let me put it to you this way: what I think I understand to be a somewhat better brood pattern than we had been seeing, more brood than we had been seeing. So. Um, I think my mentor, one of my mentors was correct that the queen would pick up her laying once the resource question was out of, out of, um, out of a question uh, or resolved. Once the resource question, I can't hardly think I'm sweating to death. It's hot out here. It's only 90 degrees, but uh, uh, once the resource question was resolved, uh, the queen picked up her laying. And I suspect that that has uh, probably not her decision, right? I think the colony lets her know when to slow down and when to peak up based on how they feed her, what they feed her, is that right? Somebody let me know, more experienced beekeepers or bee experts, uh, but I'm happy. Now here's what I'm anticipating in the comments. Somebody's gonna tell me, gee, Tommy, you should have added a frame or two. <laughs> Maybe I should have, so if the consensus tells me that because they were working on every single frame in there already, there was nectar on every single frame in there already, then perhaps I should have added a frame or two frames. I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't want to make the mistake I did last time. You're going to have to convince me to add a frame um, because I added several uh, back at the beginning of the dearth, and it was a disaster. So anyway, let me know in the comments. Add a frame, add two, add none. What do you think? Tell me what you think about uh, the resources now available in this colony. Uh, tell me what you think about the brood pattern, about the honey pattern at the top of those frames with brood underneath. Um, tell me what you think about the pollen uh, appearing around the bottom of the brood in those frames closest to the entrance of the hive. Uh, let me know what you think about anything else. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs down if you just can't believe that these bees are still alive and subscribe to us if you want to uh, keep track with us and follow us along follow along on this beginning beekeeper journey 
Uh, as always, we appreciate every one of our followers and viewers. Still can't believe anybody gives a rip about what we have to say here at Alderman Farms. But here's what I want you to know. Jesus is Lord. Christ is King. If you haven't knelt before Him, you need to do that now before it's too late. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you next time at Alderman Farms.